I am Dr. Pavitra Bharadwaj. I am Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Science, Jesus and Mary College, University of Delhi. So friends, we have been talking about a myriad of topics related to the discipline of computer science in this uh, series of lectures. And today we are going to start a very interesting and a very novel area uh, in computer science discipline which is you know growing at a very fast pace and a lot of interest is being you know uh, garnered around this area. A lot of people want to know about it, a lot of research is happening here and a lot of development is happening in this area. So which is this area that I am talking about? So I am talking about the area of data mining. So today we will be talking about the data mining and in the preceding lectures, in, in the following lectures, we will discuss more about and we will delve into the details of data mining. So this is going to be an introductory level course, a beginner's level course. So this will be very useful for people who just uh, want to have got some interest in this area of data mining and who want to learn more about it. So this is going to be a basic level course uh, to, to be, you know, initiated and then later on uh, as we progress we will go into deeper and deeper levels of data mining. So initially you know if, if we look around us what do we see? We, we know that we are living in an information age, we are, we are surrounded by devices, we are surrounded by you know uh, mechanisms, we are surrounded by processes we are which are generating data at a very fast pace. Right, whether it is sensors, whether it is the cameras, whether it is our mobile phones, uh, you know, everything around us, most of the things around us today, they are, you know, generating data at a very fast pace. So this age has rightly been called as the information age because a lot of our decision making abilities, a lot of our, you know, business activities, a lot of our day to day activities, they are very, very heavily dependent upon the data and information that we are generating and at the same time that we are consuming also. So we are doing both, we are producing as well as consuming information at a very, very fast pace. So in this parlance, in this backdrop we understand that you know there is a term which is very commonly used uh, that is known as big data. Right now, what is big data? The word itself means that big data is going to be really big. Big means it is it is going to have certain properties which are going to set it aside from the routine data or from the regular data which we are looking at. So this data basically is triggered or this you know why why we why is there a need to identify certain uh, quality of data or certain data as big data because there is a lot of advances you know which has taken place in data collection and storage technologies and now data is being generated and disseminated at a very very fast pace at a very fast explosive growth rate right so therefore this age now is the age of big data right and what what we want why why are we you know looking at this because a lot of you know actionable insights a lot of very useful information can be derived from this information from this big data and that information is going to be very useful in decision making areas across you know our society so whether we take it in the business world in the medical in the science and engineering in the field of biotechnology in the field of governance in the field of individual well being so wherever we see we see that you know this big data is going to contribute significantly and going to impact the decision making abilities of all human processes. So there are three main characteristics you know by which we can identify the data as big data. So the first and foremost actually we call them as the three V's. So the first is known as the volume that is the amount of data. Then second is the variety or the complexity of the data. Now if you are looking at you know the internet age or if you are looking at say a social media platform, say let us say take the example of Facebook, right. Now on Facebook every user, there are billions of users you know who are subscribed to this particular platform and every user or most of the user or a large number of those users, they are constantly you know uploading information, they are constantly up, uh, you know putting something up and that 
information that they are putting up it is in different formats like you know some are putting pictures, some are putting videos, some are putting blogs, some are just writing posts. So basically the data is very complex, right? It is very large in amounts and it is collected and it has to be processed at an enormous rate. So there is velocity, right? So therefore, you know, there are three V's which make the big data. Uh, you know too big or too great or too overwhelming for simple you know humans to analyze using unaided sophisticated technologies that is the volume of the data the variety or complexity of the data and the speed or velocity at which the data is being generated and needs to be processed right so therefore what is the requirement the requirement is of automated tools which are going to extract information from the big data. So despite you know the enormity and despite the diversity of the data that we have, we will have to require, we will require or we will need certain tools that will be used for this purpose, right. So you know there are different areas like you know you can see there is weather forecasting or there is you know the uh, gene research, genetic engineering which is happening right or climate change, environmental studies, all these are areas where you know you, you come across situation where the data is enormous and therefore it cannot be analyzed by the traditional methods. So now what we need, we actually need to combine the traditional data analysis methods with some sophisticated algorithms and then together these two will give you or will create the domain of data mining. So data mining basically is an area which is you know of course it is heavily dependent upon uh, the traditional methods of data analysis but along with that those methods are complemented by the use of very sophisticated algorithms. So we will also see that you know data mining actually is not a single discipline per se but it is a conglomeration of several different disciplines or several different domains of knowledge. So together when we put it, it is highly interdisciplinary you know area where, com where different disciplines they combine and therefore the combined result of the knowledge of different disciplines gives us you know what it is. So if, if we look at this term called data mining, right? So what is mining actually? The activity of mining or you know in simple understanding what do we mean? If we say you know uh, coal mining or iron ore mining what do we understand? Mining means that you have got huge you know big chunks of something out of which you will find very small amount of extremely valuable substance like you know when mining is done for metals and minerals so they they process tons and they process you know uh, thousands of kilos of the ore from which they will get certain kilograms of the precious metal or the mineral what they are looking for so likewise here also when we are talking about data mining so we will find very useful small insights but very useful insights from large chunks of data so you will look at the data which is huge and from that you will put certain searching algorithms, you will put certain analysis tools and you will get something of value which is very small but very precious, very uh, you know uh, very dear that way. So if you if we look at some examples you know like for example let us take uh, the case of business and industry. Right. So, if you know we have business in they collect the data from the point of sale that is the counters, then they also uh, collect the data from the e-commerce websites right and together they you know uh, they have all this data collected at each other uh, you know to collect it together and then using that data if the business is able to know or if the business is able to understand better what are the needs of the customer okay what is the customer going to order next right so what is that that is nothing but the use of uh, you know data mining and this can lead to better decision making you can you can have targeted marketing you because now you know what the customer may be wanting next and therefore you are uh, you know giving that kind of uh, in, in, input to the 
customer like we all see that you know when uh, when online shopping is being done so at that time also you will see more ads of a particular product which you have searched in the recent years in the recent few hours or recent few uh, you know your uh, browsing sessions why because you know that kind of targeted marketing has been done right besides this fraud detection is very very you know important area where data mining plays a very crucial role and personalized recommendation of the products for a particular user customer profiling is also very important in that way then we have internet of things which you know uh, which is again very important application of this area of data mining then uh, in the area of medicine science and engineering right so because we understand that the data pertaining to uh, you know the engineering and the science field is very spatial temporal in nature it is uh, you know large amounts of data which is collected and therefore this data also cannot be analyzed using the traditional data set also there is a lot of research which is happening in the uh, in the genetic engineering and the gene gene science and you know the human genome project etc where they are trying to uh, you know account the behavior of each and every gene in the present in the body right and how in given different situations so that kind of you know comprehensive uh, data once you collect it or say study of mri scans of different patients to you know predict the disease or having the electronic health records of all citizens of the country so such kind of you know applications they will definitely require specific sophisticated data mining techniques to analyze this right so so we understand that you know what are the areas where you know the traditional methods they they sort of you know uh, they are not able to suffice the requirements of the uh, data processing so we we need to understand now we we can stand and you know we can define the data mining so what is data mining basically data mining is the process of discovering useful information in large data repositories right so basically we have large data sets and from those data sets we are going to find out some new useful patterns that might have remained unknown so far right and the, those cannot be unraveled by the traditional methods right so we need to predict the outcome of the future observation right like for example you need to predict what is the customer going to buy next or how much amount the customer is going to spend on a particular purchase or whether a customer is going to um, come to the online store or he is going to come to the brick and mortar store so all these kinds of things you know your data mining activities can predict right now of course you will not use we cannot say that you know for every application we can use data mining no that is not the idea that is not the you know philosophy because data mining is highly sophisticated techniques it it requires a lot of resources it requires a lot of expense so data mining is used in specific cases why whereas there are other simpler you know uh, functions like looking up for individual records in smaller databases you know or searching a particular keyword etc so for these kinds of application we will go for simple and the regular data processing techniques like the dbms techniques but for sophisticated techniques where we know that it is you know huge amounts of data and there are specific performance uh, goals there we are going to opt for their data mining technique right so uh, you know it's very important that we understand the term knowledge discovery in databases because we know that you know uh, databases are there data is stored in those databases and so far in traditional systems we have tried to retrieve that data based on certain queries but now we are looking at discovering new knowledge from the databases which is which is not actually known so what we are looking at we are looking at converting the raw data okay in the database into very useful information right so for this there is a process of knowledge discovery which is to be followed so in this process of knowledge discovery data mining fits in so where does it fit in so we have some raw input data this data needs to be pre processed 
and then that is pre process means that you are making the data ready to be used by a data mining tool or to be you know uh, applied to an analytical method of the data mining uh, system and then after you get the results then you go for post processing of the data that is the results that you obtain from the data mining processes those are to be integrated into the decision support systems of your enterprise into the decision making uh, you know system of your uh, of the ERP or wherever you know you are wanting to implement that kind of de uh, decision. So, that needs to be done using the post processing and after that after the post processing then only the information which is produced or information which is obtained out of the knowledge discovery process that will be valuable that will be ready to be integrated into the or main organizational system right so if we look at the input data or the raw data right now raw data could be in the form of flat files it could be in the form of spreadsheets uh, you know flat files are like csv files or it could be in the form of relational table right and this will this can reside in centralized repository or this raw data could be distributed across multiple so, wherever the raw data is, now the main task of pre-processing is to transform this raw data into appropriate format so that it can be analyzed using data, uh, you know, data mining techniques. So, when we say pre-processing, basically we are trying to bring all the data together and we are trying to clean the data. Uh, you know cleaning the data basically means that we are removing all the noise that is all the unwanted data from that we are removing all the duplicate observations we are removing all the null values say for example we are removing all the inconsistent values which are there so all these values have to be removed all these items have to be removed and we are only going to look at those records and those features of the data which you will be utilizing in your data mining or in the data discovery process actually right after the data mining has been done then we have the step of post processing post processing basically refers to closing the loop that is once the data has been mined once the information has been taken out then we have to integrate the results into the decision support system right and it is also important to note that only valid and useful results are incorporated into the decision support system right so that is the part of the post processing system so we can we will have to utilize some visualization tools for post processing you know explore the data we will use hypothesis testing methods for post processing so there are different ways in which you know the data is ascertained and the correct data or the uh, you know the important result are fed into the resultant system now you know why why do you think of course we have seen that the previous you know methods they they have their limitations they uh, they cannot be used in all situations and therefore there is a need for data mining but you know there were some challenges in the traditional data analysis tools which could not be met because now you know what we are looking at is we are looking at the internet era when you know so much of data is being produced right and the the speed and you know the rate at which the data is being produced is also enormous so one very important challenge of the traditional data analysis tool is the scalability right because we know that you know the sizes of the data sets are increasing up to you know from terabytes to petabytes to even exabytes so huge amounts of data are there and we need specific algorithms which are scalable scalable basically means that they can be increased the the you know the the operative speed and the analysis of uh, analysis capacity of the algorithm can be increased to 
support the growing volumes of data. So, it can become big or small the, the algorithm or the data mining functions you know they can act on small sets of data as well as on those enormous sets of data. So, they, they will have special search strategies because now they want to have an exponential search right they cannot search like a traditional method in which you know index searching is done they, they will need some other kind of searching mechanism to make it more efficient right. So, that kind of then there can be certain data sets which are not even fitting into the main memory. So, there will be some algorithms which will be out of core algorithms right. So, uh, there can be uh, situations where pro parallel and distributed algorithms are required because the data sets are uh, you know being processed on parallel systems or they are distributed across systems. So, that is why uh, the scalability that data mining offers that that is not available in the traditional data mining facilities. Then second uh, thing or the next challenge which we look at is the high dimensionality. High dimensionality means that you know the normal data sets they have few attributes they have you know say 50, 60 attributes, but now what we are looking at the big data attributes they are you know they are hundreds of thousands of attributes are there. So, therefore, there it is multi dimensional data that we are looking at right. For example, in case of bioinformatics, in case of you know uh, the features where genes are you know going to be processed. So, there are so many components of that kind of data set and therefore, all the attributes have to be processed. So, it is not just the simple volume of the data, but also the multiple dimensions which are added to make the problem even more complex right. So, say for example, if we are measuring the temperature of you know of a city at various locations right. So, if we are taking the temperature repeatedly over an extended period of time then it will add to the number of dimensions right. So, the proportion will uh, increase as you know you will go on taking the measurement. So, therefore, this kind of high dimensional data it cannot be processed by the traditional uh, data analysis tools and you require particularly you require the data mining capacity. Traditional tools are good for low dimensional data where there is a limited number of attributes, very small number of attributes, but the computational complexity with high dimensional data can only be provided with good data mining tools. Then another very important aspect is the quality of data that we are looking at that is heterogeneous and complex data right. So, the attributes in case of a traditional data analysis method they are more or less of the same type right and they are either continuous or they are categorical. But in case of data mining if you are looking at business you are looking at science, medicine or any other field for that matter it will have heterogeneous attribute heterogeneous means that the type of values which are given in each of the uh, uh, attribute will be very different from one another right. So, we, we see very complex data objects in non traditional databases like particularly you know in case of the uh, web and social media databases like we have text you have hyperlinks you know you have video images. In case of biomedical science where we have DNA structures you know we are coding the DNA structure there also we will have these different kinds of data different complexity the attributes of the uh, data will have different uh, you know values and different nature of the values more so there will be temporal data there can be spatial data right there will be continuous data there will be discrete data. So, all this kind of you know uh, data uh, complexity is adding all this kind of heterogeneity is adding to the complexity of the problem. So, therefore, these are some of the motivationals and some of the challenges you know which the data mining tools the data mining techniques are expected to overcome. So, we shall be continuing in the next lecture on the same topic till then keep watching CC. Thank you.